Good morning, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown with your morning digital news brief for Monday, March 8th. For the first time in nearly a year, in-person learning begins today for some Philadelphia public school students. The students returning are in grades pre-kindergarten through second. In-class learning was supposed to resume last month, but it was pushed back over teacher safety and vaccine concerns. Hundreds of teachers have already been vaccinated. A heads up for SEPTA riders, a new regional rail schedule. It begins this morning. That includes the Chestnut Hill West Line, which is resuming limited service. The line was shut down last year when stay-at-home orders were issued. This is video of the first train rolling out earlier this morning. If you do ride SEPTA's regional rails, make sure you check the new schedule before you head out. Also, in an exclusive interview with Oprah Winfrey here on CBS3, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan spoke about what led them to step away from the royal family. Meghan revealed tabloid headlines nearly drove her to suicide while also accusing the royal family of racism. The couple also revealed they are expecting a baby girl this summer. Now let's check eyewitness weather. Here's meteorologist Larissa Abreu. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Beautiful start to our Monday on the cold side of things, but conditions will slowly and gradually temperatures climb over the next several days. So here's what you can expect a seasonable Monday today. Southwest winds will be taking over and that's going to help jump our temperatures into the 60s here by Tuesday afternoon. We're pushing to near 70 though as we approach Thursday and Friday. So for today, highs will climb to 48 degrees here in Philadelphia, low 40s down the shore, upper 30s in the Poconos, making it a cool afternoon, but we are tracking calm winds as well as abundantly sunny skies, so not a bad afternoon by any means. We'll continue that gradual climb as far as temperatures are concerned each of the next several days, starting with tomorrow. A daytime high of 62 degrees makes it the first of 60s of the entire year, and we're not quite done because by Wednesday we're at 60. We hit 70 here Thursday. We have another opportunity of 70 to round out the week on Friday. Well, remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast. Also, the very latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Natasha Brown. Have a great day.